Hey everyone, thanks to my Rose mod, I have just received my Dark Zone Max Scar Barrel Pack for $20 for two Scar Barrel. This might just be the perfect budget option. Let's see how they compare to what we know. I'm your Jose, welcome to that. Again, thank you to Milo's mod for sending this my way. He also sent me some part for the seagull. We're gonna see that in another video. But now, those scar barrel. I mean, the box is really, really small. Uh, one and a quarter inch by two inch by like four inch. This is really a small box. There is two very scar barrel inside. Let's get on the table, take a better look at him because Looking at the box, I see all the effort Dart Zone is doing to invade the Canadian market, but with those kind of translations, I don't see it happening anytime soon. Let's get on the table. Well, this is the pack itself, and first I want to take out of the way the translation here. First we got Scar Barrel Pack, which is okay, it's in English and everybody know what it is. But uh, apparently two things, the person who translated that in French had one, either little to no knowledge of French or two, didn't know that SCAR was an acronym because he took SCAR like uh, a real SCAR, like a, a flesh car. And the name ended up being Pacberry Cicatrice which really mean flesh scar drum pack which got absolutely no meaning and pack is not even a word in french so please prime time dart zone i already send you a message message me somewhere respond to me i think i can really really help you with your translation and to access the canadian market now let's go back to this scar barrel pack itself Pretty neat, it come into that uh, nifty little two compartment ziplock bag, that's nice. So in that box we have this scar barrel, which is more like a tea car barrel, but we're gonna get to that in a moment, and we have this 12 bearing, 3 row of 4 bearing B car barrel. Well, why do I say this is a T car? It's because it is a threaded centered auto rotation barrel. Uh, SCAR is an acronym. It originally stands for string centered auto rotation barrel. The real meaning of SCAR barrel is a string centered auto rotation barrel. If there is no string, it's not a scar barrel. This is a scar barrel. This is a threaded car barrel, more like a T car barrel because it got threads inside. This one is a, ooh, it got six thread inside of this little, let's call it a scar for the purpose of this video. So I guess they are 60 degrees or so in rotation for that length. And here, like I said before, we got three row of four bearing all around it. And since those are bearing, we call it a B car barrel for bearing centered auto rotation barrel. At first glance, they look really, really well made. Uh, maybe the spline are a little pronounced inside of this thing. This reminds me a little more of the the jet scar barrel that was coming with the jet blaster with the jet cedar s this is yeah but this looks sturdy and i guess this enlarged portion is to be able to fit it into one of their blaster that's kind of neat i don't hate it this is light this uh, this is very light and the fact the bearing are super lube uh, reassures me because they will not jam the dart inside uh, this is a straight line with angle on the bearing pretty much the same thing we have with the uh, regular swim b car barrel this is a three by four row this is a little restrictive because there is four row this one is a three row much more like the newer swim b car barrel but again 
in another video with the newer one I haven't touched it yet but compared to this one this is this is very closely the same construction so how do they fetch does it induce rotation uh, I guess if they can induce rotation on a dart they will be worth it and they will be working this thing I'm not sure I don't know what this is is this for locking into a barrel or is this oh, okay I get it this is for when you got a 16 millimeter barrel I guess to shove inside this thing and when you're not using it you put the little cap so the barrel is more the size of the dart yeah that makes sense so it's gonna be down to the chronograph to test how many FPS do they stall when they induce rotation. First, let's start with this one. It's gonna be easy. Yeah, oh yeah. There is a rotation induced into that dart. So that is a good sign. Now let me take another one and try to pass it through this one yeah this is to have a sealed barrel this adapter it fits very well with the ghost dart let me just oh yeah this rotates a lot so this one seems a bit aggressive on the angle let's see how much fps does it stall to a blaster but for this we're gonna need a baseline and for this baseline I think we're gonna use what we know so I'm gonna compare this one with a worker one that we pretty much all have tried during our experience and I am gonna try this original Swin B car to compare with the original dart zone B car barrel and for all this I am gonna use my trusty base blaster because it is regular and I haven't used this blaster enough yet. First, let's fire a few rounds without any scar on it so we have a good baseline. A hundred and ninety one average, hundred and eighty nine minimum, hundred and ninety one maximum. Let's try it with a worker scar. Let's fire a few with the worker scar. Okay, that gave us a 185 average. There was one very high 193 shot and a minimal shot of 180. The phenomenon with this thing is that the worker scar barrel elongates the barrel a little, adding some space for the dart to accelerate, which helps with not losing some FPS. Okay, same dart, but with the dart zone scar or T car barrel. Okay, let's say we add 20 FPS to get on par with the fourth shot. It will bring the average more in the 180. So this uh, scar barrel will still at least 10, 5, 10, maybe 15 FPS from your shot. Maybe because there is too much spline or they are too, too long or too thick inside of it. I don't know. But still, look like a worthy one. Same test with the original Swin B car barrel.
pretty, pretty interesting to see. I mean, this average more than it was without any B car. The minimum was 184, the maximum was 189, practically 185 and 190. So basically, this B car barrel will rather still no more than 5 FPS from your shot, which is very, very efficient. Now, for the moment of truth, this new Dart Zone B car. I am baffled here. I know this induced rotation because I checked it first, but there is no loss in FPS with this B car barrel. This little Dart Zone B car is rather amazing. Really, for the price it is, even with that other scar barrel coming with it. It's a bargain, but I mean, efficient like that, my X-Shot long shot just became the best budget loadout equipped with that. Well, in the end, this car barrel pack from Dart Zone, oh my god, they are perfect. I mean, for the hobby, this is the most perfect thing that could happen these days, making those nifty scar barrel barrel attachment available to a greater public on a better budget. I mean, 20 bucks, $20 for a pair. I mean, a worker's car is almost 20 bucks. It's like $10, $15, like that. And you get the bearing version, which looks super efficient. It induces rotation on your dart and doesn't steal FPS. Plus, you hear it spin every time you shoot with it. This is pretty nifty. Dart zone, you really really made a home run with those little scar barrel uh, like i said email me answer my message i'm gonna help you with those translation because this is horrid but other than that this product is perfect i really think anyone should have those in their arsenal i mean i will have those with me in pretty much every game i need to try those this one is a little more uh hungry on fps but this one seems like a breeze plus with that little adapter that can make it fit on a regular 16 millimeter barrel and uh, when you insert this inside it's to prolong the barrel to insert into a regular dart zone slash x shot muzzle so yes you will be able to use this thing on your x shot long shot plus this one this one on this end you fit it on a 16 millimeter barrel and on the other end it's for any Dart Zone Ixshot Blaster. This thing is very cool. This one is working very nicely. Really Dart Zone, you did it. This is a home run for me. Yeah, I think that's it for this small video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook, Instagram, at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to so notify for my latest video. This was Dave Attack. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.